After several days of searching, it's a tragic turn of events to report this morning in the case of an 11-year-old Texas girl who was missing. Yeah, that discovery of that little girl's body uh, raising really just more questions about her disappearance and death, as well as questions about the man police currently have in custody. Authorities found that body of 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham in Texas's Trinity River on Tuesday. She'd been missing for five days. It was last Thursday when she failed to make it onto her school bus in the town of Livingston, Texas, about 70 miles northeast of Houston. Uh, the sheriffs there say they plan to charge a 42-year-old Stephen McDougall. He was supposed to be dropping Audrey off at the school bus the morning she disappeared. Uh, authorities say information gathered in their investigation is, quote, substantial, but they're not getting specific about how they believe Audrey died at this point. All right, shifting gears, bringing it back home. United Way's community schools have launched an effort to help students see and learn better. It's a team effort uh, with a group called Optical Academy. They're calling this one Glasses to Classes. We talked a little bit about it yesterday. It's so interesting the way this works. So Megan Zielinski actually visited East Middle School Day 1 for this program. She joins us live this morning in our studio. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Well, Mark Tracy, they get those glasses same day thanks to this program. So I got the chance to watch the kids go from not being able to see to wow. Take a look. According to the United Way, statistics show that one in every three children need corrective eyewear, which can really hinder a student's ability to learn. What that means is that they're going to have trouble seeing the board from far away. So if they're sitting in the back of the class, they might not even be paying attention because they can't see it. Throughout the week, Optical Academy is partnering up with the United Way of Community Schools for a program that they're calling Glasses to Classes. The United Way estimates that around 7,000 Erie Public School students will be able to get a free vision screening. Screenings are required by the state to be done annually. However, school officials say they regularly send home the referrals for glasses, but they're finding students aren't taking those next steps to get them. At this event, we watched as glasses were being cut and given to students that same day. Well, they'll send that referral form home, but unfortunately, you know, a lot of families, um, maybe they can't get off work or maybe they don't have the financial resources. And so what nurses were seeing is that year after year, some of the same kids who were failing their screenings um, weren't getting those glasses. And so uh, in response to that, um, that's, what, that's what we did. You know, we worked to find an organization that could help really at scale um, support all those students by bringing that, that basically that, that vision lab right into the school. These vision screenings will be taking place at United Way schools across the district from now until March 1st. But this morning they will be heading to Harding Elementary School. From the studio, Megan Solensky, Erie News Now.